Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and today I'm bringing to you a fun new video inspired by Mandy Lee here on YouTube. I'm going to have her channel link below as well as her most recent video like this, but she does a concept on her channel called Something Old and Something New where she picks one brand new thing to use in a get ready with me as well as some older things. So I took that concept and absolutely ran with it today. My something new is the new Viseart Paris Edit palette or Paris <laughs> Edit and it looks like this. To me, this is the perfect mauve rosy, cool tone, spring neutral palette, if you will. And I used it to create this look today, as well as my specific something old is my Physician's Formula Rose All Day Petal Glow in the shade Soft Petal. This was supposed to be a highlighter, but it really didn't work like that for me. Um, it's a little bit deeper, but not quite deep enough to be a blush. So this has sat in my collection. I don't even think I've put it on my face. So this is my honorary something new. It's old, but I haven't used it. And then for the rest of the face, we're gonna be using my everyday products as well as some Shop My Stash and unofficial Project Pan products and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's get started. I already applied for my primer, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I feel like I better start getting through this because I don't think this is going to be really very good for my skin during the warm months, so I wanna work on that. I wanna use my Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, and today's side note, besides the hair is looking hot mess express as per usual, is that I'm really sad that Physician's Formula is no longer considered cruelty free by Cruelty Free Kitty online. I will link her website in case you're ever curious about any specific products or brands and whether they're cruelty free or not. I myself am not cruelty free, but I do always think that it's sad when companies aren't, especially when they previously were, like one of my favorite brands, which is NARS. So that's today's side note, something I've been doing lately to just throw a little bit of randomness into our videos here. <laughs> um, but this foundation is in the shade LN4, and I just want a very like fresh, springy look today. So all of the makeup that I am using will be listed down in the description box below. So if you have any questions, check there or let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to take requests for videos and I'm always happy to answer questions. And then you can also always get a hold of me over on Instagram at Journey in Beauty. Woot! I do love this foundation. Um, it's been a favorite for a couple of years now, but I do feel like I have found a replacement for it, something I like as well, not necessarily a dupe, and that is the Clinique Even Better Makeup. I have mine in the shade WN16, and I really like that foundation. It does for my skin, and performs on my skin similarly to the Physician's Formula One. It just, I mean, it's a foundation, unlike my other favorite, which is the Misha BB Cream. So, you know, just thought I'd make mention of that in case this is a favorite foundation of yours as well, and you want to find a substitute. Kind of an honorary new product for me is um, one of the products I purchased in March, and that is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I have mine in the shade G10. I just used my ring finger for this, and I kind of start it down on the top of the cheekbone and then work it up under my under eye, and this is really, really nice. I'm really, <laughs> really enjoying this concealer so far. I've probably used it five or six days 
in a row and I am definitely loving it. It's one that, I don't know, I guess it just is what it says it is. It stretches, so it's very emollient, but does set down some, and if not completely, like, see, look at that. Just a little bit that I had on my finger that I showed you covered all that area. So it covers well, but it's a very thin layer. So it's very skin-like. I try not to set it. I'm excited to possibly try more from Glossier in the future. I also picked up one of their cloud paints, which I'll use in another video soon. But today we're just using this one, and the star of the show is going to be the Viseart Paris Edit. All right, time for some bougie powders. I'm going to use my little mini of the Hourglass Diffused Light. This is like a vanilla shade, and I've just been using a little tiny bit of this to set under my eyes, kind of just trying to move it out, if I'm being honest. And this is a nice powder for setting under the eyes. It is very, very thin and lightweight. I just had to turn my fan on because I'm getting a little toasty. <laughs> For the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is not new to me. Like I said, the only two new products are the ones I showed you at the beginning. And I really like this powder a lot. I probably will end up buying, repurchasing it. I don't know if I'll buy the full size or another small one. Probably depends on how long it takes me to get through this one but I do love it. It's just the lightest amount, again, of powder. It's really, really nice. It's more like a finishing powder. Um, if you need like a real hard, hard set to your face, this probably is not the powder for you or if you have oily skin. I don't, this would work as a finishing powder, but not at all to set your face. So I don't know, hopefully that's not too confusing, but I use it during the cold months as a setting powder. I also like it to go over a full face of like cream products. Oh, I forgot to conceal these guys down here. Oh well. Anyhow, I use it as a finishing powder over cream products and I really like it that way. I will definitely do that still during the warmer months when I wear cream products. All right, now for bronzer, we're moving into a Shop My Stash item. It is my Marc Jacobs Bronzer, Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. This is in my Shop My Stash for March, and I am so glad I put it in. I am loving this bronzer. It is really beautiful for my skin tone right now which you probably can't see because the lighting sucks today, but anyhow, this is really beautiful. It's definitely buildable. I still think I'll be able to use it during the warmer months. Might just have to build it a little bit more. But this is not a product, like this is a product when I got it, I immediately was like, only for special occasions. But <laughs> I've worked really hard to get rid of that mentality because makeup doesn't last forever use it. It's meant to be used, or at least, you know, if that's the intention that you bought it to use it, then use it. I know some people collect makeup, and I'm not going to go into that, but I just think I, I bought it to use it, so I'm going to use it. Um, now that I'm more in, set, in that mindset of not saving it for special just because it's expensive or fancy or whatever, I'm loving it. Like, I'm actually enjoying seeing some of this pattern wear away in the middle here where I've been placing my brush. So, I'm really excited about that. Just that quick little, you know, give myself a little perspective on using my makeup and not saving it. Then, now I'm like, yes, I can't wait to use that. Like, Man, I wonder how long it's going to take me to hit pan. And I hope it's not soon. For blush, 
we're gonna use two products like I said I haven't even used this physician's formula rosé all day petal glow um, it's not sheer enough to be a highlighter to me so I'm going to use this as a blush topper slash highlighting situation but first I'm gonna use a little bit of my Tarte Amazonian clay blush in the shade party you can see that I did hit pan this is in my unofficial project pan for 2020 so I'm excited that I've hit pan this one I actually want to finish this year and then my other blush which is my elf mellow mauve I would like to just hit pan on um, not necessarily force myself to use it up. I mean, I probably will continue to work on it after I'm done unless I decide to work on panning a different blush. But I just feel good about panning my collection. You know, whether I'm a project panner or not, I feel good about panning my collection because it shows that I'm using my makeup and I want to use my makeup. But tell me what, how you guys are. Like, are you of that mentality that you save nice things for nice and everything, everyday things for every day? I don't know. I just love waking up in the morning. I don't care if I'm going to sit on the couch and edit or bake or you know go to counseling yes I go to counseling it's good for me <laughs> um, you know I really don't care what I have in store for the day it makes me feel special I remember when I first started my channel and even on the days that I wasn't filming I was wearing makeup and my husband was like why do you do that like what what a waste like and he wasn't being rude or anything he was just like didn't understand and you know I was like it makes me feel good it it just does it makes me feel good that's all if I didn't say it this is in the shade soft petal looks like this and I'm just going to try and dust this on the tops of my cheeks and it should also be noted that this smells very strongly of rose so if you are not into that stay far far away I think it'll look really pretty when my skin deepens a little bit but it's cool it's kind of a duochrome and I just I bought this thinking it was gonna be one thing and then it wasn't and then it never got used and so I just thought I'd pull it out today and give it a try actually what reminded me to pull this out was I was watching a video from Emily Noel um, which I will link down below for you guys but it was about applying makeup using the applicators that come with the makeup and this was actually the best applicator she found and that is this little white brush it's very soft but it's very thin let's try it shall we I'll just use it for blending and then I'll give it to my daughter later. And then for actual highlighter, I'm going to use the one that's in my project pan, one of the ones. This is the Lori, this is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade 01 Highlight. This is a favorite of quite a few people, including myself. And it's just a really pretty sort of lit from within, although wow. <laughs> Uh, kind of shade but I really I love it this is one that I'm panning because it's getting older and I want to buy the full size before you know something tragic happens like they discontinue it so while I'm applying my Ulta Beauty matte eye primer in nude <laughs> I love this stuff I've mentioned before it's like concrete for your eyelids your eye makeup will not budge I would almost stamp a hundred percent guarantee on it if I'm being honest. Anywho, <laughs> while I'm applying this, I just wanted to tell you, you know, briefly about my thoughts in purchasing the Viseart Paris Edit palette. I don't think it was needed, but I do think it was wanted. <laughs> I mean, honestly, do I need any more eyeshadow palettes? No, you just watched my collection series, and if you didn't, I have 57 eyeshadow palettes. So do I need another one? Absolutely not. 
but this palette just felt so perfect to me that I and then I had a $15 reward on top of that in terms of reasoning so this palette um, would I have paid $39 for it maybe but when I took it down to $25 I was like done sold it leaves me with $25 of the rest of my budget which is what I used for the two things that I purchased from Glossier and I feel really good about those three products this month I think I'm gonna start I don't have the names of these shades and I really apologize for that but the shades only come on the box I'm not keeping the box and or anything else so I'm just going to point to the shades and hopefully that'll be okay I'm gonna go in with this shade right here though which is very sort of like uh, dusty pinky mauve but in a very light shade and I'm going to start by dusting this in my transition area just giving a nice base setting the primer just a little bit in the transition and crease area I want to do kind of a purpley look today. Okay, we have to do something about the nose. <laughs> this is a really pretty pink shade. I think on anybody darker than me, it probably isn't going to show up very well, but it's very beautiful. It's a very nice transition shade because it's only like about a shade or so light or um, deeper than my skin tone rather, so that's awesome let me know though if there's any other videos that you'd like to see with this palette if you want to see multiple looks um, or anything like that I'd be happy to oblige I just know that there's a lot of reviews on these out there and I will review this um, it'll probably be in a new series that I'm starting that will go up the day before my favorites for the month or something like that maybe I'll do the favorites first and then I'll do that video but basically I want to come back and review for you each month the things that I purchased and used in the previous month so like for this month it would be the products I bought and used in February okay next I'm going to go into this slightly deeper mauve right here I knew when first we met we would be a match made in heaven this shade because this is my jam I love like a dusty rose or a mauve I meant <laughs> I mentioned in a recent video that I wish that I lived somewhere where it was appropriate for me to say mauve like in the south or something because I just think it sounds better <laughs> as mauve but if I said mauve given my non-accent and the fact that I live in Colorado people would be like why do you say it like that like what is your deal these blend really nicely as always Viseart mattes are really great formula not my favorite matte formula necessarily but a really good one now I'm gonna go into this burgundy shade right here it has like a little bit of sparkle it looks like but it doesn't look like it's enough that it's going to show up on the eye and especially not in the capacity that we'll be using it today but I'm just gonna take this sort of along the upper lash line on the lid and then I'm going to take this brush and feather it in a little bit. I want this to be the deepest shade. What's left on the brush, I'm going to just very lightly wet cat pressure tickle the outer half of my lower lash line. Previous shade, the second shade with the second brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that mauve again, tap it off. I'm gonna put this right over top of what we just did and that's gonna blend that deeper shade out really nicely as well as fade it into that crease shade because we're using the crease shade to blend essentially and if we need to we can always go back and add more burgundy but you'd be surprised when you take a mid-tone shade and go to blend out your deeper shade just how far that deeper shade goes NYX glitter primer I'm gonna put this all over the first lid here and then we'll go in with the lid shade 
uh, this particular lid shade, I just, I really wanted to pop, not that it wouldn't without glitter glue, but I really want it to pop and it is a teeny bit flaky um, because of how foiled it is. So I think I'm just going to be careful and use a glitter glue and that is this beautiful like pinky lavender right here. I'm all about it. And I'm going to put as much of this on my lid as possible. <laughs> this is definitely one of the shades that kind of sold me on the palette. As soon as I saw the color story, I really wanted it. But, you know, I always try and talk myself out of things, even if it doesn't always seem like it. Um, and so I was trying to talk myself out of it. I was like, you know, just wait. If you buy it, it isn't going to be for your channel, so there's no hurry. But then I made a mistake that I normally make, or frequently make at least, and that is I watched Kinky Sweat <laughs> review this palette and do looks with it. A lot of times when I watch her, um, especially her swatches are so good and so true to color. I end up buying the thing and then when I went to Sephora to look at it again and just sort of read the description and things like that I saw that I had a $15 reward at Sephora and in case you're not aware how you get those is by having their in-house credit card um, that you can charge your purchases on and then pay right away if you want to. Um, that's what I do. Like I make an order and then I pay, you know, I put it on my credit card and then I pay it right away with my debit card out of my bank account. And so anyways, you get a certain amount, a certain percentage of cash back for what you spend at Sephora. And I don't just buy makeup at Sephora, like I buy a lot of my brushes there, I buy skincare, I buy hair care, like my hair products come from Sephora, so I do collect a decent amount of awards, awards, rewards, without actually buying makeup, and then I use those rewards on makeup. So that's how I got this palette for $25. I don't feel like I got enough of this burgundy on the outer V for depth, and I do want a little bit more on the lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna pick that up with this really small brush, which also happens to be from Luxie, and I'm just applying this, really just tapping that on the outer third of the lid. And don't worry if it, you know, looks unblended at first because um, I'm going to go back in with my mid-tone shade to sort of blend that again. Overall, I'm just feeling really excited about my channel lately. I feel like big things are coming, maybe. Um, and that would be great. I am... I feel like I'm finding my groove within my monthly series is bi-monthly just the type of videos I like to do which are this type of video I love just getting ready with you guys applying my makeup on camera and chatting all right and then taking that little brush we used for the burgundy I'm going to take the mauve and blend the lower lash line all the way across one thing I don't love about this palette is this whitish gold shade here. I don't know that I think that that looks great with all of the colors in here in terms of an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight. So I'm going to go back into my Hourglass Diffused Light palette and take a domed brush here and I'm going to first apply that on the inner corner and just brighten that area. You could use a matte white shadow, but I actually find, because this is a finishing powder, this actually has kind of a smoothing effect as well on the textured parts of my eye. 
and I'll show you another trick in a minute, but it's very subtle, which is fine with me. I don't always need that glaring spotlight on my inner corner. The other thing I've been using this powder for lately, I told you I'm kind of trying to use it up or at least get good use out of it, is I've been taking my ring finger that I would normally highlight my Cupid's bow with, picking up this powder and using this either on its own or over the highlight that I applied on the Cupid's bow. And because this powder is so finely milled, it highlights my lip, as you can see, very highlighted, but in a very nice, subtle way. I think for eyeliner, I'm just going to do a little bit of this Wet n Wild Coal Eye Pencil in the shade Sima Brown now. Just the tiniest bit on the outer third of the upper lash line, and then the same on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my favorite little angled brush here and smudge it just a smidge. <laughs> smudge it a smidge. And I'm gonna speed through it for you but I will show it just because I've kind of gone from not wearing a lot of eyeliner to wearing eyeliner a lot of days, and I decided to show you guys how I actually do my eyeliner. So, here we go. Okay, for mascara, I'm just going to be using the, I have only one open right now, which is actually pretty rare, <laughs> and it is the Milk Kush Mascara. I really like it. It gives me length and definition, it holds a curl pretty well, and I don't feel like it's as harsh on my lashes as some mascaras can be. So I'm just going to apply one coat of that. I'm not a two coat girl, and you know, it's a good mascara. I think I'll just use this one maybe until it's all gone. Lips. I'm gonna go do something about the hair <laughs> and maybe put a sweater on and some jewelry and then when I come back we will do a lip, hopefully. All right, we're back. I think I need a little more blush after assessing the situation. Where are ya? There we go. So I'm going back into the Tarte one and the original brush that I used and just going to pink up the cheeks a little bit. My face I feel like just doesn't look very alive, <laughs> which, you know, happens sometimes. I will say it's always hard to pick a lip for a cool eyeshadow look like this for me because I have a very warm skin tone. And while I can pull off a cool eye look, I don't always pull off a cool lip very well. So we're going to try this today. The first thing is this Essence Lip Liner in the shade Satin Mauve. It's cool tone. It's mauve. So I'm hoping that will help a little bit. You'll see in just a sec. Alright, so now that I have a cool tone lip liner on, I'm going to take this soft pink lipstick from Bare Minerals. I have no clue what this is called. It came in a little freebie gift set, and it's kind of annoying that it's not on here. Even if I wasn't a creator, what if I was a consumer and I really liked it and I wanted to purchase it, and then I don't know what it is. Anyways, nice soft pink lipstick, but I'm hoping since I put the cool tone lip liner mixed with a slightly warm maybe closer to neutral pink that it will set this all off so let's give it a shot this my friends is the final look that was a little bit of a rough one I feel like I did struggle a little bit with this but it might just be the day the lighting and the mood I don't know but I am going to continue playing with this something new in my life let me know again if you have any requests for videos you'd like to see with this palette I think it's a pretty spring look I love this concept from Mandy Lee I don't think she's by far the first person to do something like this but she is the person who inspired me to do a video like this so I want to give her full credit and I will link her most recent something 
new something old something old something new video <laughs> and with all that said thank you so much for spending part of your day here with me today I always appreciate each of you that watch my videos and likes and comments and subscribes because it really helps me out here on the YouTube and I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful fresh spring makeup days and I will see you in my next video soon.